all right good morning guys we just packed up all our stuff because we're leaving for la today again but i'm actually surprised at my packing because i thought i wasn't even gonna fit everything into my suitcases after this trip it went surprisingly well and everything actually fit really well but that might actually change today because it's black friday today which is super exciting because i always want to spend black friday here in the us because i feel like it's just so much bigger than in sweden i think i've been here on black friday before but i couldn't really go black friday shopping for some reason but today we are we're gonna try to make this really quick and go black friday shopping before uh driving back to la so yeah let's head out <laughs> Okay, so target trip done. We only ended up getting <laughs> a bunch of cookies. And then I got some deodorant for my dad. And we ended up saving $5, but I don't think it was for Black Friday. I think we just had some Target savings. I don't think Target really had any Black Friday sales except for electronics, like iPads, Apple products, but I already got an iPad a few days ago from Target for the Black Friday sales. So maybe I should have looked for AirPods because I lost mine, but we're really hungry, so we just stopped outside this breakfast place. We're gonna have some breakfast, take a little break for Black Friday shopping, and then continue probably. to like, I don't know, check what kind of Black Friday sales they had and they do have like, get a gift card if you buy like, a legible product and if you watched a few videos back we were looking for an iPhone 14 Pro Max for my boyfriend who wanted to upgrade his 13 Pro Max but they haven't had it in stock in LA or in Arizona until today they have the purple in stock for the iPhone 14 Pro Max but he doesn't want purple they do have a normal Pro is face black. I can, I can land it. Like this is, this is not a. Yeah. Do you want to like? Is a good. Color. Oh, you want to get the color? Okay. So, would you rather have Pro Max in purple or just a Pro, like downgraded size, but have the color you want? Like, Probably what's more the color, important? The color I want, but then the size. Yeah. Like the they always used to have the Pro or just a normal size. But then I got him the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I feel like once you upgrade to the bigger screen, you can't really go go back should i just wing it i can go with the purple and then just... you're you always have a case on anyways like you can't really yeah, exactly. tell it like i'm just imagine I'm, I'm imagining it with like this leather case right yeah just a little bit come back and we'll get you all checked in and partnered up okay so it's not like i'm gonna see the color yeah. right the only like the only part of the iPhone I'll see is like the camera part yeah right? and then my screen and the screen is what matters I think right yeah Dialed, is it is it black or purple it's black, it's black right? yeah, yeah. yeah there you go okay. we actually found it <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm really I'm surprised. surprised yeah so we decided to get it yeah. so we're gonna be back in the Apple store in like 20 minutes and pick it up and trade in this phone Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, before we unbox the new iPhone, I want to show you guys some cases I got for my boyfriend's new iPhone 40 Pro Max. He actually doesn't know about this yet, but I partnered up with Casetify to gift my family friends some quality phone cases for this holiday season. So if you haven't heard about Casetify, they're a really popular tech accessory brand known for protective phone cases. And I use Casetify for my phone and it really makes me feel more comfortable knowing that my phone is safe in case I drop it. So I thought this would be the perfect Christmas gift. So these are the cases I got him. Look how cute this is. Well, I chose some personalized cases for him. This says Gano, which is kind of his nickname, but also his YouTube name. Of course, I want to support his YouTube channel. So I feel like this is really cute, kind of like his own merch. Customizing the case is a really great way to make it more special. So the first one is a black leather case. It's personalized with his name and then this one is a clear MagSafe case and this case is actually optimized to prevent yellowing by Case Defy's UV Defender technology. It's also drop tested up to 6.6 .6 feet and I'm not sure you can see right now but it has extended edges that goes over the screen to protect it and this case is made from 65% recycled materials. When customizing cases from Case Defy you can choose from a bunch of different fonts and colors. Then I also got him this bounce case that will basically make your phone bounce if you drop it and it actually has up to 21.3 feet drop protection thanks to EcoShock technology so I thought this would be a great case for him to switch into when he's at the gym so in case he would drop it while running all right and next I also got some cases for my friend I actually got her a screen protector as well this is anti blue light so it's gonna protect your eyes from the blue light that comes from your phone and then I also got her a snake chain phone strap which basically creates a little crossbody bag out of your phone and it makes your phone a part of your outfit all right but for the cases my friend actually doesn't have any case for her iphone so i was like girl you need to protect your phone so i picked out these adorable impact cases. This one is a panda print. And then I also got her a smiley case. Casetify has a really wide variety of prints. So there's definitely something for everyone. These are impact cases, which means they're military grade tested and offers up to 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection, but they're still really slim and lightweight, which makes them great everyday cases. All right, and then for my mom, dad, and brother, I got some more impact cases. Cases. So this one's for my mom. It's a really cute flower print. And then for my brother, I got this leather case. It has a really minimalistic design and good protection for the camera. And then I also got him this checkered pattern. And this is actually an ultra impact case, which you can see on the sides here. It has extended edges. It has up to 9.8 feet of drop protection. And also as you can see on the side, it says this case is made from recycled phone cases which is part of their re -casetify program where they use old phone cases to create their new ones. All right, and then I just got some basic cases for my dad. And my dad actually has the iPhone X or iPhone 10, so it's kind of an older model, but Casetify actually offers iPhone cases all the way from the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 14. So excited to give these to my family. I feel like they're really great gifts because of the quality. They're really gonna last my family for years to come. So if you guys wanna get your own case or gift someone a case from Casetify, go to casetify.com slash simplysofia and you'll get a 15% discount. And now let's move on to to the iPhone 14 unboxing. Okay, we're back from Black Friday shopping. That took a while. Yes. I mean, we were gonna go like an hour or two, but I think it took like four hours. But we did end up finding the iPhone. Yeah. I would say it's a successful Black Friday shopping. Yeah. yeah. Except like this one wasn't really like Black Friday. It didn't have any Black Friday discounts. The iPhone 14s didn't come with gift come cards. With gift cards. So apparently it was only the older models that- I feel like that's weird, but I guess it's smart by Apple because most people will get the iPhone 14. Apple doesn't have to give them a gift card. Uh, we ended up getting the iPhone 44 Max in purple. 128 gigabytes. 
I feel like it was a smart choice because you're not really gonna see it every day. Like, you're not gonna look at the back of your oh, phone. Oh yeah, so basically, long story short, they only had the iPhone 14 Pro Max 128 gigabytes in purple. Yeah, right? and you wanted it in space black. Yeah. In space black, they only had the iPhone 14 Pro yeah. in 256 or, gigabytes. Yeah, or 14 <laughs> Pro Max and one terabyte. Oh, and yeah, that's but that was much. expensive. Yeah. But I feel like you're not gonna see the color every day, but you're gonna see the screen like the size of the screen obviously every yeah. day so I think it was a good choice mm -hmm. so here it is but one thing I thought was interesting was how the iPhone 14 doesn't come with the like sim card holder yeah so right? I think the US versions doesn't yeah, come with the uh, mine SIM card did yeah, come exactly. with the sim card like I got it in Sweden the carrier we're currently using is Mint Mobile and they actually have the option to do an eSIM so it was really easy to set up like if we just order it from Sweden and set it up in like one minute when we got to the US like at the airport. I think I even set it up in Denmark. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really here. easy and it's yeah. super affordable also like it's $15 a month I think and also right now they have like a uh, get three months free if you buy three months of service. Just a little tip if you need a great wireless service also we stopped by at sephora because i wanted to get a gift for my friend since we've been staying at her place so i got her this like pillow talk little charlotte tilbury kid and then i also got um the pillow talk wait what's it called beauty light wand the highlighter and then i got some birthday gifts apparently because it was just my birthday so i got like a bronzer and then some skincare like SOS oh yeah when it's not connected to a service yet quick story you don't have your phone <laughs> oh yeah she took my phone wait okay. set, up set up manually my... and log in with your well that's probably the best way anyways because when I set it up like with my previous phone it did the like all system data mm -hmm. and it just crashed my phone all right oh yeah so right. that's probably the best way Okay, we ran into a little bit of a problem. Pretty much when you're setting this up, you have to choose like these options, right? And when you do restore from iCloud backup or even like don't transfer any apps and data, you still have to log in. Or if you want to log in with your Apple ID, it has like a two step verification that comes to his phone number. But since he doesn't have his phone and his SIM card is like taken out, like it doesn't work and also this phone doesn't have any sim card in it or you can put a sim card in this phone we had to put in this sim card <laughs> into my phone uh just to get a verification code um we're gonna see if that works we need to do this all right i met him on a sunny day in late july and everything turned upside down all right, so we just stopped at a charger and look, it's pretty funny how all the white cars are parked on that side. Like, literally, there was only white cars and then all the black ones are on this side. Like how all the Teslas are lined up. Don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. 